Hi, today we're going to talk about some of the extensions that you can do with some of the sensorial materials. And we're going to start with the various drawers of the geometric cabinet. Now the activities that I'm going to do, you can also do with the botany cabinet, you can do with the um, countries in the puzzle maps. There's a lot of possibilities available to you, but we're going to start now with polygons. Now in order to do this work, the children have to have done the work sensorially and learned the names of the different shapes. So we're going to assume that we've had the three period lesson on the names of the shapes and we know that now this is the drawer of the polygons. Okay, the first one is the pentagon. The pentagon has one, two, three, four, five, sides. We can just put these out at random and see what we've got. Make it more interesting for the child. Okay, so I'm going to pick the octagon. Well, octagon has eight sides. Let's see if we can find the octagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's the octagon. Okay, the decagon. Deca means 10, just like decimal system and other things that we've worked with. So let's find the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here's our decagon. So here we have the hexagon. So the hexagon, remember how many sides that has? It has six sides. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here's the hexagon. Then we have the nonagon. Nonagon has nine sides, so that's probably over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nonagon. And then what's left is the heptagon. The heptagon has seven sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Heptagon has seven sides. Okay, so after the child has done that and maybe written his own set of labels and done whatever you want, then we can go into an activity we call book making. So I have a whole pile of pages that I've created. They have a space the child can write the category of what he's working on on the top line, and on the bottom he can write the individual name. So I'll show you how that works. So first of all, we are going to make a book of polygons. This is your opportunity to write in front of the child so he sees exactly how careful your movements are and how each letter is shaped. So here's our polygon. So the first polygon that we're going to do is the pentagon. So we are going to take it and we are going to trace it. Now the child has done a lot of this work with metal insets and the frames, but I like them to work to trace around the actual piece. Very carefully. Uh, let's see if we can get that word so we can make sure we get it spelled right. Pentagon. Pen. T. A. G. A. Pentagon. So at this point, your child might want to color it in, might want to actually take blue colored paper, um, trace them, cut them out, and mount them on the book. There's many variations of how you can do the book. But at the end, I'm going to have a little book with eight pages. Then the child can staple it and put 
date stamp of what date he's completed it and take it home and show his parents.